Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Lion. So Lion is directed by Garth Davis, the film is written by Luke Davies, and the film is actually based off of a book written by Saru himself. The film stars Dev Patel, Rooney Mara, David Winham, and Nicole Kidman. So Lion tells the true story of this young Indian boy named Saru who gets separated from his mother and his brother when he goes inside this train and when he wakes up this train is taking Saru far far away and so that means Saru is now officially lost he eventually gets adopted by this Australian couple played by Nicole Kidman and David Winham and so 20 years later Saru decides that he was gonna go ahead and find his birth mother and his brother get back home to reunite with them Lion is a film I was actually very interested in because I have seen the trailer a few times this film and every time I saw the trailer those few times times I was like yeah I really wanted to see this movie I was interested in it and I have to say Lion is a very uplifting movie this is such a beautiful story I was so engaged watching Lion I thought the directing by Garth Davis was terrific there were a lot of shots that just looked so beautiful the cinematography and Lion is just so breathtaking honestly there are so many times where I was in absolute awe watching this film. There's so many wide shots in this film, so the director can really just take you into the story. I have to give Garth Davis a lot of credit for that. Garth Davis did such a wonderful job directing this film. And the screenplay by Luke Davies is honestly really terrific. A lot of the dialogue comes off as very natural. The overall storytelling I felt was very engaging because for the first half of this movie, you do focus on Saru when he's a little boy and then the second half of the film focuses on Dev Patel. So the first half is when he's young, and the second half is when Saru is older, trying to figure out a way to get back home to his birth mother and his brother. And I thought all of that was handled so well. The performances themselves are also terrific. First of all, I think the actor that plays young Saru is one, very adorable, but two, he was so freaking good in this film. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna butcher it, but his name is Sonny Pawar. This kid did such a terrific job. This is honestly one of the best child performances I've seen from 2016, since yes, this is considered a 2016 movie after all. This kid, wow, he, he was terrific as young Saru, and because of that, I felt so connected to his journey for the first half when we do follow him. And Dev Patel as older Saru, is great here. I thought he gave a very terrific performance because of how much emotion he provides to his character and because of Dev Patel's amazing performance I was able to get behind the story of Saru. Rooney Mara who plays like the love interest of Saru I thought she was really great here and I really cared about their relationship whenever it was there. It's not like it's the big thing of the film. The big focus is obviously Saru trying to find his family, but anytime the, fo the movie focuses between Rooney Mara and Dev Patel interacting with each other, I just felt very immersed into those scenes. And David Winham and Nicole Kidman, they both give really terrific performances as Saru's adoptive parents because they are the ones that took Saru under their wings, especially this one scene that's pretty emotional dealing with with Nicole Kidman. It's just with Nicole Kidman and Dev Patel in this one scene and I found that to be very powerful and very moving and I just thought the execution and how everything flowed it just felt so natural. The score for the film is honestly moving. It really did put me in this atmosphere especially with so many of the relaxing shots I see in this film. When they play a calm score in the background as I'm looking at some of these beautiful wide shots. It really does fit well. The drama in this film I also thought was executed very well and I don't want to really dive too deep into that but all I just want to say is that the dramatic stuff in this film I thought felt very honest. It felt natural. I never thought it felt forced to be honest and especially when they play the music. Man do they really let that music sink in. This film is 
a slow burner. It does take time with its story, but honestly for me, besides maybe that very, very small section with Saru was young, I thought the film was actually very well paced, especially once we get to the second half with Dev Patel. That's where I felt like even though the movie was slow moving, I never felt like it was getting boring. I just felt fully invested in it. And I really admire this story so much because when you follow Saru, even though it's been years since he's seen his mother and his brother, he was not willing to give up. This movie has a beautiful message about never giving up, about having hope, about having courage. This man was willing to sweat he was willing to not get much sleep just so he could find his family, even if it means looking through every station all over the world. It was impressive. And without spoiling anything, the ending to this film is beautiful. This movie has one of the most beautiful endings I've seen from 2016. That's all I'm gonna really say about this film. Now, as far as problems do go with Lion, I will say that there is that small section with Young Saru's story. When you follow Young Saru for like the first hour of the film, I will say there is that little small section where I felt the film just dragging a little bit. It was just like maybe by five to seven minutes. And then eventually it picks up and I found myself fully invested again. And then there is this little story with Saru's adoptive brother, the one that Nicole Kidman and David Winham also adopted when they were younger. They don't really dive too much into him. We know that he has problems, but that's really it. They don't really dive into his background, his childhood, why he acts the way he is. And I know the movie wanted to focus more on Saru finding his home, but I kind of wish that maybe just for a little more, the movie could have explored what his background is, why he acts the way he is, but they don't really do that. And he kind of just was there to maybe add just a little bit of drama. Overall, you guys, Lion is one of the most beautiful movies of 2016. This movie was so uplifting. This was a breath of fresh air. It was just so beautifully told honestly. I just felt very engaged watching the storyline and seeing a story like this really was such a great experience. I loved Lion and I'm gonna give it four out of four stars. This is the eighth 2016 movie I've given this rating to. That's pretty damn impressive. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know, what did you think about the movie Lion? This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.